Hello, my Aries friends. I'm trying something new. We're going to do um, dailies. Well, they're going to be more like, you know, spilling over into the next day. All right. So this is going to be for the 21st through, no, the 20th through the 21st. And um, we're just going to see what you guys have going on. Let's see. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Aries, what's going on for Aries? My Aries friends, please show me what's going on for Aries. I kind of have to change locations for wherever I can get to, okay? Aries. All right, guys, here we go. What's going on for my Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Wheel of Fortune. Make sure that's in view. I'm probably should bring it down a little bit. Okay. Page of Coins. Seven of coins. Now, here with the Wheel of Fortune, there's something that you've done that you feel quite proud of, an accomplishment, okay? Um, there's something that Like I said, you're quite proud of it. Um, I feel like you've been through some tough situations here. And not just, you know, intimate relationships, but in general, like on your job, everything. I feel like it's, it's been, you know, a tough at least six months for you. And um, you worked really hard to get yourself to a point <clears throat> and you know now that not saying that you don't need to work so hard but I feel like you're working smarter is the way I feel here it's like you've learned a, whole, a lot of hard lessons a lot of hard lessons and you have taken that with you and you're not so eager to jump into things as you used to be. Because as Aries, a lot of times, that's exactly what we do. You know, we go full speed ahead into things. But I feel like now you're kind of slowing down a little bit, taking notice of things. Um, because, you know, you've, you've been intuitive. But sometimes we move so fast until, until we miss something. We miss something or either, even though we see it, um, we kind of make excuses for certain things and certain people. So, but now I feel like that's not happening anymore. You're taking notice of everything. You're taking notice of everything. And you've got some really good things going on right now. I feel like there's a lot of things that's, um, that's rolling for you right now. Because I feel like in the past you were caught up in this cycle that you felt like, you know, was almost like a rat's wheel that you couldn't get off of. But guess what? This wheel has spun you off of it and is propelling you forward. Okay? It is. Now, you are needing to be hopeful that the things that you have put out there, the seeds that you have planted, um... The business that you have started, the relationships that you have started, give them time. Don't just jump and say, oh, this is not working out. Give it a little time to see if it's actually going to pan out or if you actually need to leave it alone. I feel like, okay, this is this is a card to, to stay, stay in a page pages mode when it comes to um, reacting to things. Okay, and I feel like for a lot of you, this has more to do with your finances. Um, and I feel like there, 
there's something very lucrative coming your way. Something very, very lucrative is coming your way. Something you just started not too long ago. Could have been four months ago. And the reason why I say that is because when I look at this wheel, could have been longer than that, but instantly my eyes were drawn right that right there to that number four. Okay. But of course it could have been longer than that. You probably are close to Taurus as well, Taurus energy um, in your uh, horoscope chart. Hmm. Put that back, let's see. Now, I feel like you've working you've been working very, very hard on your um, on your finances, okay? But there is also a need that if there is somebody in your life to give them some attention, to focus a little more on um, on your relationship, could be dealing with a Pisces. There's a need to focus a little bit more, if you, you are not in a relationship, to focus a little bit more on your family, um, how you relate to each other emotionally, okay? Because there is something in the works here that will bring you a lot of fulfillment, a lot of fulfillment, quite happy, a committed relationship. I feel like if this is a thing with the Queen of Swords. Now, it could be an air sign that's coming into your life. Or this could very well be you um, not focusing on the Ten of Cups within your relationship. Cutting out all of that you know, emotional, what you probably would consider baggage if you cut it out. Um, because I see, you know, your focus on, is mainly on your finances here, okay? But somebody else, somebody else is wanting this Ten of Cups with you. If it's this air sign, um, if this is an air sign, this is somebody that I feel like has been holding on to something and has been wanting to say something for you long, to you for a long time. This is somebody that you're probably not with. Um, the Queen of Swords is known as the divorcee card. Um, so it's probably somebody that you are not with that is realizing um, that they do want to be in a commitment with you. They really want to say something to you, I feel like, if this is another person. If this is just you, like I said, this is you um, just kind of feeling like you need to focus on your coins and not love. Um, if, you know, if this is somebody new that you are currently involved with, then this is you giving more attention to your coins than love. Not like you have X'd it out, but I don't feel like it's a priority. I don't feel like this is a priority for you. Okay. So Aries, that's what I have for you for the um, 21st. No, I don't know why I keep saying the 21st. The 20th to the 21st. And I'll speak with you soon.